Happy Monday. Bitcoin is trading at $68,600. This is a quick short-term update on the charts, specifically more for those of you who trade futures, who want some ideas for levels and direction. So starting out, we had the weekly close. As you can see, it is a strong weekly close. Very big, very green, basically no uh, wicks on either side, full body, green close. And that does represent strength on the weekly chart. So Based on this, I would say there's a decent chance we see continuation in the week. However, short term, it might be a little bit different and we might see a little bit of a pullback initially. Now, obviously, we can all see over here, we are sitting here right at this resistance, right? This is super, super key. This is a seven month consolidation here where we've been sitting in this price trading sideways, chopping around and What's also uh, important to be aware of is that we failed so many times trying to break out. Now, we are seasonally in the most uh, bullish and favorable time for that breakout. We're in October, we're in Q4, the elections are right around the corner. So all of that um, basically favors continuation and a breakout. I think once we do get the breakout, I think it'll go pretty quick. And once we get past 74, I think it's clear skies and we probably push pretty quick to like 85 or 95 but we have to get that breakout still, and we still haven't got it at this time of me making this video. Now, as I said, on the short term, it might be a little bit different. This is the four hourly chart, and you can see here what is happening is we are starting to get a bearish divergence on the RSI, and on four hourly, that tends to be pretty accurate. I'm gonna show you what's happened in the past, and you can see it for yourself. You can see we have this kind of grinding sideways choppy Wyckoff potential uh, distribution here where it's making higher highs but it's just grinding sideways and we have the RSI not confirming these highs. So you can see here what has happened in the past. It doesn't happen very often but it does happen here. Um, you can see over here it started happening in this previous run up. You can see when it went from 66 and then it ended up dropping to about 60,000 afterwards. You can also see here, um, it has happened in all these previous uh, highs here. Um, same thing, we started to get this RSI divergence over here, and you can see we went from 70,000 all the way to 49,000. You can see over here at the same uh, peak over here, there was also a divergence where there's basically a double top here on the price, but we had a lower high there, and then we went from 71,000 to 53,000. So you can see this is the frustrating thing over here is that when these bullish RSI divergences show up, and you can see basically all the way uh, since the all time high in March, and um, we've had a couple of these, and every single time on the four hourly time frame, it has resulted in that drop, right? You can see over here and a drop, and then over here and a drop, over here, a smaller drop. But either way, we're starting to see this here now. It can always continue higher. Who knows? There's always exceptions. It's not a 100% guarantee. But if you look here at the hit rate, um, and the inverse works very well also for the bullish divergences, by the way. So four hourly RSI divergences are something to pay attention to. And I think in the short term, we might just be looking at a retest of about this level over here. So you can see it it might be this area but it might be a little bit higher there's like a four hour fair value gap over here so i would say somewhere between 62 and 64 is a possibility and then hopefully what we're going to get is after that a run to the all-time high so um if we get this drop here if we go down to about 62 or 64 we get a huge amount of long liquidations and then if it goes up after that, I think that's going to be perfect. People might get bearish starting to short into the lows as they usually do. If you're looking for a good exchange to trade crypto leverage and futures, I would recommend Blowfin Exchange. I trade there personally. I think it's a great exchange. It's currently available globally. And if you use the link in the description down below, it's my referral link. If you sign up there, you can get up to $5,000. In deposit bonuses as well as be eligible for the prizes that I give away to my referrals as a thank you so the more people that trade on Blowfin through my link the more prizes I can negotiate from Blowfin to give away 
and we're currently giving away an iPhone every two weeks and hopefully that can continue to increase. So if you're looking for a great place to trade, use the link in the description down below, sign up to Blowfin and be eligible for all those bonuses. So this is what I'd be looking for this week, potential just pull back into 66, ideally 64 to 62 and then trying to long it over there. So that leaves room for potential short term uh, short down and then maybe another long back up once we get to that level and um, we're gonna have to look on the lower time frames as it gets into that level for hopefully a run up to like 84 85 so that's what i'm looking for this week let me know in the comments down below what do you think do you think we're gonna rip straight up to the all-time high do you think we're gonna get a pullback here first what do you think about these rsi divergences are they something to pay attention to yes or no and smash the like button, share it with your friends. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.